another reading by Blueberry Farm Storytime. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Kindergarten Luck by Louise Borden. Illustrated by Genevieve Godbout. One gloomy morning, Theodore found a bright, shiny penny on the way down to breakfast. There was Abraham Lincoln, face up. What luck! Oh, thank you, Mr. Famous President, Theodore said. You make the best pancakes, Theodore told Mama when she kissed him goodbye. The gloomy rain suddenly stopped and the September sun came out. Theodore and Louisa raced each other to the bus stop on Cherry Street. Number 19 was on time, and so were they. There was Slim, Theodore's favorite bus driver, with his morning news. I heard a rumor that next week, the zoo is bringing real penguins to school. Number 19 got really noisy until Slim hushed everyone. Then the bus pulled up at Riverside School, the best school in the whole world, as Theodore was always telling his friend Georgia. He counted the puffy white clouds floating right over the yellow line of buses. The sky was blue, such a lucky blue. Theodore and Georgia swung their backpacks and waved it to other kids who were in their class. Right away, Mr. Leland called on Theodore to show the class the day of the week and the date on the big wall calendar. And later, during writing time, Mr. Leland read Theodore's poem out loud. Lucky little clouds high in the sky, floating by, floating by. Recess, Theodore swatted the tetherball again, and again, and again, and again, and again without missing once. His friends all cheered for him while Georgia ran off to tell Mr. Leland. Then the end of recess whistle blew and everyone lined up to go inside. Theodore was chosen to be the line leader. And all the time he was carrying that penny, that shiny lucky penny in his pocket. He took a quick peek at Abraham Lincoln and whispered, thank you, Mr. Famous President. After science, the class walked up the hall to the media center. Mr. Leland said to be as quiet as kindergarten mice, and Theodore got to type his own words on a brand new computer and check out a giant book about penguins. Then Mr. Leland picked VJ and Abigail and Eduardo and Leah and Theodore to help Miss Walker, the art teacher, hang the kindergarten's Matisse pictures in the school lobby. Miss Agresta, the school principal strolled out of the office and said the paintings were so jazzy that she was going to show them off at the Riverside family night the next week. Then Mrs. Cooper, the school secretary, announced on the loudspeaker that students in third grade were to meet in the gym to practice their special welcome song for family night. On the way back to his kindergarten room, Theodore walked as slowly as a turtle so he could wave to Louisa because she was a third grader. Later in math, when Mr. Leland showed the class how to add numbers, Theodore reached in his left pocket just to check. Oh gosh! And he gulped a big gulp. Where was his? Then Theodore remembered that he put the penny in his right pocket. When Mr. Leland asked the class how many puppies were in a the litter Riverside of one puppy rang at 3.25 p.m. Theodore races and there was and Theodore's seven. Bus, good old number 19 revving its engine ready to take students home. Theodore couldn't wait to tell Slim about the wonderful things that had happened to him. He sat in the row behind Slim's driver's seat. And he showed Slim his penguin book, and they talked about the luck in the world and how sometimes it's just waiting for you to find it. When number 19 rumbled up Cherry Street and Slim put on the brakes, Theodore took his Lincoln penny out of his pocket, his right pocket, and held it for a minute, thinking. Then, quiet as a kindergarten mouse, Theodore slid his penny 
face up on the floor next to Slim's seat. Louisa and Theodore got off at the corner and waved goodbye. The September sun was still shining, the sky was still blue, and there was still little white clouds to watch. The day hadn't been gloomy after all. Theodore had found his own luck in a shiny penny, enough to give to a friend. <laughs>